Hello, and in this video we're going to be working on 135 in a PLTW IED. Uh, we've already in a previous video made the title block, so we're not going to work through that portion of it. Uh, if you want to go ahead and make your own custom title block, you can, uh, but we're just going to use the template we've already got. Uh, so we're going to start by first downloading this uh, crank arm file. Since we're using OnSafe, we're just going to select this option right here. Uh, that downloads it for us, and then we go into OnShape. Uh, I'm going to go into my Trammel folder, so I got my Trammel folder, and I'm going to create and then import files from there. So, uh, then I just select that uh, crank arm we just downloaded from my downloads folder. Uh, it's okay to do a single document since it's just a single part, we're just going to do a single document here and hit OK. Uh, then it loads in uh, and you can see it pop up over here. Uh, I got a few notifications here, I'm just going to close out my notifications. Uh, sometimes it takes a minute or so for it to get the full download and have that part ready for you to go for you. Uh, it's not going to give you a preview right away, but after we open it, it should give us a preview of what that part's going to look like. Uh, so hopefully it's had long enough and it can open up for us. Uh, and when it opens up, you should be able to see that part. Uh, it's a uh, you can see that crank arm uh, and what they want us to do for a 135 is put it onto a template drawing page so it has you make that template we've already made a template so we'll use the template we have uh, so I'm going to come down to step five where it wants us to put it on a drawing page and have a base view that best represents that object and then they show you it's going to be this uh, front view here is going to be more of a top view of the actual object so we're going to go back to our object I'm going to open my drawing page, I create drawing, and I'll select my template I already have. Hit OK, and it pops up my template. Uh, usually it takes three, four seconds to load in, and we have our template. Then I select my part. After I select my part, to get the view I want, I can you can see it's giving me that front. The front is more of a side view on this object, so I can come over here to view orientation and change my orientation. So I actually want to look at the top of this object. Uh, so I'm going to come in and click the top and place that, and then I'm going to come over and get a side view by going to the side of it and clicking. Uh, so that gives me that top and side view. Uh, then I'm going to hit the front view again and come up to the top right to get an isometric view. I'm not going to worry about a top view. It's going to show me the same information I can see from uh, the side view. So I'm going to hit escape. Uh, and then we'll look and see what else. They want a detailed view. So we're going to get that detailed view. We're not going to go 41 since I don't have a B-size paper. Uh, but we will show you how to change the scaling if you need to. Uh, so for this one, uh, we're just back in on shape, and we want a detailed view. So if you come up here on the top, you can have your different views. Uh, we have auxiliary, section, uh, broken out section, and then detail. So detail is what we want, so we click that detail. Uh, we want to start from the outside here, and we want it says to get at least three of the circles. So we get three circles, and then you can bring it up, and you we can set that in place. Uh, if you want to change the, the the scaling of it, you can come over and change the scaling on it, or you, after you place it, you can double click on it, and you can change the scaling. So if it's one to one, if I wanted to change it and do a bigger size, I could come down here and do a bigger size. I could do a three to one or a two to one, and that makes it a little larger. Uh, I'll hit escape because I don't want to change it in this case, uh, but it gives us those scaling. Uh, so now we have that detailed view. Again, I'm not going to change the scaling, but you could if you need to. Uh, next, I believe it has us dimension it. So it has us do these different views, uh, and then it says to dimension it. Uh, you're not going to fully dimension it. It just wants you to do the overall width, height, and depth, and then dimension the detailed view to fully specify those parts in the detailed view. Uh, so I'm not going to go through that whole process, but I'll start setting it up. Uh, so if I need to go from top to bottom, I can just do a regular dimension to get the top to the bottom. I can pick any point on the bottom and any point on the top, any line, I should say. And we can get that height of that object. If I can uh, get my numbers to get out of my way. Uh, and we come to the side and get that height. Uh, to get the length of the object, you actually have to change this uh, to the maximum or minimum dimension. And then I'll zoom in just to, so it's easy to click. 
and we want the outer edge. There's two spots. We want the outer one, and same thing on this side. We want the outer one, and we can click up and pull that up. So that gives us those two. Then I'm going to switch back to my normal dimension tool and click the two opposite sides and pull that up and place that. So that gives us those overall dimensions. Uh, then you can go through and add in your overall dimensions uh, on this top object. So things like the radius, the diameter of your circle. Uh, if you want to add some comments, so we say we have that diameter and we have it three times, you can double click and then in this box below you can type times three. And that lets me know it's times three. Or I can let you know it's in all of them went through. And I can place that in as well. But that's how you would add some annotations in here. Uh, don't forget your center marks and any center lines you may need. Uh, so hopefully this helps you get started on completing uh, 135. If you have questions, uh, let us know. Otherwise, good luck.